What's going on guys, John the Realtor here for a raw real estate segment. Today we're gonna make an updated commission video for Keller Williams. I made one a few months ago, but I'm gonna make another one today because I've gotten some questions, so we're gonna do that right now. All right guys, so here we go. So we're gonna get started today. Uh, like I said, a few months ago, uh, maybe more like nine months ago, I made a commission video for Keller Williams and um, wanted to go on and explain how it worked and everything. I always get a lot of questions about it. So today we're gonna make an updated commission video because I have gotten some uh, questions regarding mentorship programs and things like that. So the disclaimer that I have today is that every office is independently owned and operated. So every office's capping system is different as far as the number. Uh, offices can have a cap as high as $22,000 uh, and lower. So sometimes it could be higher depending on what area they're in. So if your average sales price is, let's say, uh, over seven figures, then obviously your cap might be a little bit higher than ours. Uh, but in my market, our average sales price is roughly about $289,900 right now. We're going to base today's uh, discussion around $300,000. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started right now. So, as you can see, I made the average sales price here at $300,000 for the average sale, all right? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna base our commission fees off of that. Now, I wanna start off by telling you guys that our cap in my specific office is $12,000. There's two things you cap on. One is your, what they call Keller Williams royalty fee, that is, non-negotiable and it is a royalty fee just like any other franchise company has the difference is is that we cap our royalty fee at three thousand dollars once you hit that three thousand dollars there is no more royalty and you get a hundred percent commission on that aspect of it okay also we have a uh we have a nine thousand dollar cap which is a lot lower than anybody else's cap out there nine grand okay so that brings your total of twelve thousand dollars to your cap so at my specific office we have three options to your capping system we have option one which is your basic 80 20 split 74 percent goes to you 20 percent goes to the office and then six percent goes towards your royalty it's an 80 20 but is a 74 percent to the agent okay option two is just under that probably like more of a 90 10 sort of split you have 84 percent to the agent you have six percent still to your royalty and ten percent goes to your office so what that does is it allows you to cap but it caps you a lot slower okay so option three is the highest split you could have as an agent at 88 percent going to you as the agent 6% going to the royalty and 6% going to the office. Now notice the trend here. Your royalty split is always 6%. They're not gonna take more from you on that because they want you to have as much money as you can in your pocket. Now this particular option, I say would go towards somebody who is maybe a, a high dollar amount producer. So if you sell something, let's say in the eight, $900,000 or seven figure range, then I would go option three just because that's gonna be your best option there, all right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna calculate the commission just to show you on average how many deals for me, how many deals it takes to cap, okay? So with a, th we talked about it being $300,000. So at $300,000, let's just say your average commission is two and a half percent. You can see the slide here next to me. So let's say at two and a half percent commission, at $300,000, your gross commission before any splits or anything is $7,500, okay? At $7,500, what you do right off the top is you take 6% from that, giving you four fifty. dollars That goes towards your royalty, okay? From that same gross commission amount, take 20% of that, which is $1,500, and that goes towards your cap. That makes your net commission $5,550, all right? with me so far. So that is just your splits. That's your amounts, okay? So what that means is that your $450 goes towards your royalty. So however many checks that is, 
that adds up to three thousand dollars however many deals that takes you to do that that that's how many deals it is so we're going to calculate that next okay so your royalty at four hundred and fifty dollars times seven deals is three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars that means you're capped but here's the thing that extra hundred and fifty dollars the office will not take that so on deal number seven you're only going to pay three hundred dollars towards your royalty capping you at three thousand dollars that extra hundred and fifty dollars will go back into your pocket in your net commission check so if the hope that hopefully that makes sense but that three hundred dollars is the only thing so you cap only up until you pay the amount that you need okay so your fifteen hundred dollars that you goes towards your nine thousand dollar cap takes you six deals exactly to cap at nine grand now that's if you sell a home or any property at three hundred thousand dollars if you sell a property that's higher let's say a four hundred and fifty thousand dollar home or a seven hundred thousand dollar property then obviously it's going to take you a lot faster to cap it's going to take you less deals to cap now if you sell something let's say you sell you're in a market where there's homes still at two hundred thousand dollars now obviously it's going to take you a lot longer to cap based on the sales price of that property okay so on average it's going to take you six deals to cap at a three hundred thousand dollar market depending on what sales price you're at if you sell a million dollar property at two and a half percent that's twenty five thousand dollars do the math all right so let's let's take a look at it further fees everybody always says what fees do you have what what does your office charge uh, do you have desk fees no we do not have desk fees guys so as you can see there's a few things that we do have just like any other office okay an office cannot just have no fees they wouldn't make any money that doesn't make business sense okay so here's what my specific office has we have an ENO insurance fee per transaction of $50 and they cap at $500 what we used to do is we used to take two payments of $250 twice a year one in January one in June now they changed it to $50 per transaction for a couple reasons for one it's less of a hit and for two it's not as a big as a surprise as it should be so $50 per transaction you close 10 deals you're gonna get capped at 500 bucks ENO you can't get around that's what insures you and protects you as an agent so that's that's a no-brainer okay no big deal I rather have that than 250 bucks at one time and let's say I sell a home that's really low that's really low price that's gonna really hit me even harder right so um, we have your DRE um, compliance fee this is a $50 per transaction fee um, that they charge to keep you compliant so if you use an outside transaction coordinator or TC then they're gonna charge you $50 because the office has to be compliant with their files so if you use an inside or in-house transaction coordinator that fee is completely waived I never pay that because I do have an in-house TC that does my transactions for me and helps me with my paperwork so um, that helps me with the $50 right so that keeps it back in my pocket so why not have it waived all right um, the tech fee tech fee is the only thing you pay per month which is 50 bucks that is your um, command system that's your technology your website everything that is that is in your system to be maintained that's what that tech fee is it's fifty dollars per month um, overall okay um, KWRI agent processing fee that's a twenty five dollar per year okay processing fee that goes away once a year all right so basically for fifty bucks a month you can join Keller Williams fifty bucks a month that's not so bad considering some companies have astronomical fees and a lot of other companies don't cap you on their royalty now look if you're with another company and you're like ah, I like my company better so be it this video is not intended to shame anybody else or to badmouth any other company this video is solely to educate you on Keller Williams Commission period the end no desk fees ENO insurance per transaction cap at 50 at $500 now mind you the DRE compliance fee so $50 per transaction by the way you're not required and it's not mandatory for you to use the in-house TC 
They're just saying, look, if you use your own TC, your own transaction coordinator, it's gonna cost you $50 because we need to keep ourselves protected and then we still have to make sure you are compliant. So that's all that is, all right guys? So um, now for the very last thing that we wanna talk about here today is our mentorship program. Someone brought it up to me and thank you so much for bringing it up. Our mentorship program basically functions where you are as a new agent, you just got your license, or let's say you've had your license and you haven't closed anything and you're like, you know what, I just need someone to mentor me. I need to know, I wanna know everything there is to know about real estate. Well, we have our mentorship program. So what that consists of is the first three transactions, three, three transactions, okay? The first three transactions that you have with your mentor helping you, you have to pay 10% to that mentor, 10% of your total commission. So out of that $7,500, it's 750 bucks goes to your mentor, okay, 10%. The only thing you have to do is pay it for the first three transactions and that is it. I know some companies have it for 25% and so on and so forth, but for ours, it's only 10% and only for the first three transactions. Mentorship program is not mandatory, however, it is beneficial because it allows you to ask your mentor a ton of questions. Um, I am a mentor, so for me, for example, what I do is I make it worth that 10% for my uh, mentee. I go with them on appraisals, I go with them at listing appointments, I go with them um, to every inspection they have because I what I wanna do as a mentor is pour all of my knowledge into the mentee so that when they pay me that 10%, they're like, man, that was worth it. 750 bucks out of my pocket, worth it. I don't ever want to be the type of mentor that's like, okay, cool, you can stop by my office. I'll give you um, whatever advice and answer all the questions that you have and then just walk away. That's not how I am. So if you have a listing appointment, I will go with you. If you have an appraisal, I will go with you and so on and so forth. So in a nutshell, that is it. With Keller Williams, when you cap on your... Uh, amount that you pay to the office and to your royalty, you get a 100% commission. Now, some offices do have transaction fees after you cap, because let's face it, if I'm keeping all of my money, what does the office make? Zero, right? So some offices do have a transaction fee. Ours is 195 bucks per transaction, but the rest of the money's mine. So who cares? 195 bucks for me to have a 100% commission, that's great. Now you're going to say, well, if you're paying 195 bucks, you're not getting 100% commission. Sure, that could be true. However, I'd be willing to pay $195 after I cap to keep all the rest of my money rather than always paying 20% as a split. Do the math. Guaranteed, you will have you will make more money this way than paying 20% or a split. 100% of the time. All right. All right, guys. So one last thing that I forgot to mention is that if you have an office and you have your own office within the building, yes, you do have office rent. Okay. Um, obviously, the offices are not free uh, or again, the business would not make any money. Okay. So uh, every office is different. I, I can't tell you how much all the other offices charge. Um, however, for us, uh, we do have office rent. So for myself specifically, I do pay an office rent fee um, that is monthly. That is not a per check thing. So I pay my $50 uh, for the technology fee every single month. I do pay for my office fee uh, every month. And then I also pay for, uh, just because I choose not to buy my own ink, I feel that it's cheaper for me. You don't have to, but in-house they do charge for um, printing and copies. So it's like, I don't know, five cents per black and white and a quarter for every color copy. Uh, super cheap, in my opinion. That stuff doesn't bother me. That's just part of doing business. So um, it's either that, I it's either that or I buy my own ink or I go and get it done somewhere else, which either way you're paying. So the very last thing that I will leave you with is if you have any questions, any concerns, or you're just confused about anything that we've talked about today on our raw real estate segment, don't, don't be shy. Comment below. If I miss something, please tell me. However, always keep in mind that this segment is meant not to uh, badmouth anybody or shame anybody. This is just information about real estate and about 
um, true situations that are out there. So in the meantime, guys, I ask you to please like the video. Don't forget to uh, ring the bell for notifications when I have more videos coming out. And subscribe. That will help me out. I love it. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk soon.